Hey, my beautiful soul tribe. Thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. It's your girl, Kianti, and I'm going to bring us a collective read. Again, this is going to be for the collective, all of us, all signs. No matter what your sign is, it's, it's intended to be about all of us, right? It will resonate for some of you. It won't resonate for all of you. If I get it right for you, my beautiful soul tribe, make sure to give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you're interested in booking me, please email me. That information is provided in the description box below, along with the link to my Etsy shop for, for personalized messages. All right, Soul Tribe, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm doing this blind and I shuffled the cards. I laid them out face down. I don't know what's coming out. No more than you do. We're going to do it together. Let's see. We got dusted off. Groupie. Kissing ass and too busy winning. Okay. So there's definitely an energy of someone here not wanting to be bothered, Soul Tribe. I have an offer coming in. Somebody's looking at somebody as like, um, again, the groupie energy could just be somebody who just wants to be around for the good time, but not the long time, right? Someone just wants to be around to like take pictures, enjoy the good time, but uh, it's ne not necessarily someone of substance. I see this person making some sort of offer and it looks like it's not being reject, it's not being accepted because with kissing ass and too busy winning, I feel like this person is definitely making this offer, this gesture. But someone here could definitely be in the energy of I'm too busy. It feels like that, right? Like I don't have time. This is what it feels like. I'm just going to write that down. Someone is telling me that telling me here that they don't have time for this offer, that they're, that they're good on their own. Right. Somebody could be good on their own, right? Yes. This is the energy of this. Let me see what else we got here. Obsession. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, Alien, Lockbox. Okay. So, again, Soul Tribe. I definitely feel like <laughs> with the Obsession, Must Have, Indulgence, and Dust It Off, this groupie person, this person that's trying to make this offer to kiss, uh, to, to uh, like, I don't want to say kiss an ass, but they do kind of want to, they really want to, butter this person up and make this person some sort of offer because they, their obsession it's like an indulgence it's something that they gotta have right gotta have it yes this is how it feels somebody is telling me that they gotta have it and someone else is telling me that they're busy that they don't have time they're too busy winning amy in here that's that's my um high priestess card so a pisces or a cancer could be involved but, but it feels like something like, but this is intuition though. So intuitively, right? Even if someone hasn't made this offer yet, some of you, your intuition knows this is coming. Others of you, this person is trying to communicate with you um, telepathically. They're trying to communicate with you on the 5D. They're trying to send telepathic message. They're coming through your dream space. It could be something about songs, music. So for somebody, somebody could literally be in a music industry. Somebody, somebody could be in a music industry and they have a lot of groupies. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's literally in some sort of spotlight here or something. For sure. Let me see. But, but with Lockbox, this is frustration. This is somebody not getting what they want and they got to have it, right? And listen, for some of you, it could literally be the energy where some of you are just too busy, right? You don't have time. They, this person could be feeling like you're dusting them off and that you're not wanting to spend time with them. But you could just be too busy here. We're too busy winning here. This is definitely frustrating someone. Let me see what else we got here. The Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Some of you could have somebody obsessed with you at work, right? Somebody who always wants to be around. They always complimenting you. Yeah, this person could definitely like, like you or got a crush on you or want to be up under you. For some of you, it is somebody at work. They like a groupie. They love to be around you. Like they could always ask you like what kind of songs you like, what kind of music you like. They want to take pictures with you. This is somebody who could be watching your social media. They could definitely want to make you some sort of offer, someone at work. But for others of you, this is just someone who wants to work with you. They're obsessed. Could be dealing with a, a earth sign for sure. Six of Swords. So some listen, the busy person here, right? They could definitely be giving people this person a rhythm that they're moving on, right? This person could be worried that someone is moving on. So for some of you, this person just wants to agree to disagree, to agree to disagree and move to calmer waters with you. It could definitely be like an energy where someone. 
is just trying to dust off some sort of situation that you guys had. They're kind of obsessed with making up with you. They want to be in your good graces again. They want to go take you out. They want to smile and have a good time. They want to make you some sort of offer and they're frustrated as hell because you're not accepting it. But it could simply be because you're just too busy, right? Some of you, you dusted this person off for sure. You're not, you're not on that anymore. You're just not. You've moved on from, from that. But for others of you, it's not that bad. It's just like you're busy, right? Let me see what else we got here. Four of cups. See, this is this person feeling frustrated. So I have air, water, earth here. This person is frustrated. Four of cups, they're, they're frustrated because they're not getting what they want here for whatever reason. Let's look under the decks. Queen rising. That's my girl. Stepping into power. Praise coming up. Spotlight. Again, someone is in the spotlight here. For some of you, someone is either in the spotlight or there's it's like this really successful person here for sure. This person could have fans, groupies and shit like that for sure. But the queen, the queen rising is I do feel like this is just the person that's def, definitely busy, uh, too busy winning. This person is stepping into their power. They're being praised. They're definitely in some sort of spotlight. And I feel like this per and this, I feel like this person wants to like make this offer. Literally could be trying to butter someone up or kiss their ass. You see the cards here, guys. They came out together, so I left them here. But this is how someone is feeling. They want to make this offer here to this queen rising. What, what else is under here? Children, young, child. Listen, this could be somebody you have children with. This could be someone you've known since childhood. This person could just really want to come in youthful and lighthearted and have good times with you with groupie here. For sure. Or there, there could be a situation with children involved if I didn't say that already here. Hmm. Let's see what else we got under the deck. Seven of Cups. Could they be dealing with a water sign? But I do feel like for a lot of you, this person is kind of fantasizing about you. They are. The Seven of Cups feels like fantasy and the Four of Cups feel like, feels here like they're, they're disillusioned here. Yes. <laughs> yes. It feels like this person is disillusioned because they're, they want to make this offer and they're completely feeling dust off, dusted off, cut off. They could feel like someone is too booked and busy, right? You're too busy for me. Right. For sure. For some of you, it's literally that like you're too busy for me and someone is obsessed about that. Right. They're feeling very frustrated. Right. Like I said, for others of you, you did. You completely dusted this person off. You look at this person as somebody who's just here for a good time, who thinks shit a game. This person is trying to kiss your ass, but they see you as too busy winning. They also see you as some sort of trophy or some prize. They know that you're successful in something. They know you're successful in something. Someone is very successful at something here, for sure. Masculine or feminine, put it where it goes. For others of you, this, like for some of you, this person is kind of obsessed. They're trying to communicate with you through dreams, through telepathy, through songs. They're getting frustrated here because they want to work on something with you. They want to move to karma waters. They want to agree to disagree. They could literally want to come travel to you with the Six of Swords. And they're bored and discontent because they feel like you're not necessarily accepting or rejecting the offer. It's making them feel frustrated. All right, let's get some clarification on this. All right, again, from my soul tribe, make sure you guys give me the likes. If I got it right for you, it definitely helps me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I read all of the comments. I definitely appreciate all the love you guys give me, and so I, I like to give it back. Let's, give, so let's, let's clarify these energies. Let's see what the dusted off energy is about. Give me some for dusted off. Seven of swords. Now, for some of you, this person was sneaky, and that's why you dusted them off, for sure. But for others of you, I feel like with the Seven of Swords, it's definitely you're kind of in this energy energy of minding your business, right? You could definitely have some sort of secret plan with, with, with the Four of Wands dealing here with home, um, with some sort of union partnerships here. And you could just have a plan here and you don't kind of have time for this union or this partnership. Yes, yeah, some of you, you just don't have time for this. You have some sort of strategy. But for some of you, this is somebody you dusted off because quite simply, even though you guys had this partnership, this union, this person could have been sneaky. Right now they're stressed out. What did I tell you? Nine of Swords. The Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. This is somebody doing deep introspection. Three of Swords and the Devil. What did I tell you? This person is hurt. I do feel like this person hurt you for sure. Like they hurt you and now they're hurting. Yes, yes, yes. Give me one for the groupie energy for my soul tribe. I feel like this person wants to be in your presence. They want to have a good time with you. They want to laugh and joke. Oh, the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy, the Five of Swords. I told you. This person could feel like they have, they have to compete for your attention, the world. Either this person is watching you online. They could definitely be at a distance. I do feel like this person feels like they have to compete with someone, right? It feels like, it feels like it's them against the world, right? 
Yes. If, let me write that down. Yes, it feels like someone wants your attention very badly. They want they want to be this emperor here to this queen rising, and they feel like I, I probably I feel like it, they feel like it's them against the world because they feel like they have a lot of competition for your attention and adoration. Give me some for kissing your ass and too busy winning. I feel like this person wants to make some sort of offer. Look, the magician. There is definitely somebody here that is a very skilled, successful person here. The magician in this trophy. Look, eight of wands. Yeah, somebody is getting some sort of accolades. The magician is a person that's like a master manifester. This is the person that could uh, create whatever new beginnings he or she desires. I feel like there is a magician here that is getting some sort of accolades, getting a lot of attention. There's definitely communication coming in about this. It could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. But, but I do feel like there's someone that wants to make this offer to this magician. Now, for some of you, you are dealing with a skilled person. I don't know if this person was sneaky, stubborn, and manipulative in the past, right? For some of you, if you dusted this person off, they could have been sneaky, stubborn, demanding, and, ma and manipulative and tricky, but they want to kiss your ass, right? But they feel like you're too busy winning. There's communication coming. Yep, there he is, the King of Cups. For, yeah, definitely. The Tower could be dealing with a Scorpio. Give me one for the obsession here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but someone has to have it. They got to have it. The Sun. Leo energy is someone. Yeah, it's clear to what someone what they want. Five of Pentacles. They want to come from out of the cold. It's clear to them. And they, I also feel like they think about getting this because this is happiness. They feel they they think about getting what they want from you all the time. They feel very removed from this. Give me some for alien. This could definitely be the high priestess energy, but I feel like this is this person trying to communicate to a sword. See, they're feeling very blocked. Like you're not getting the signals. The world, yes. Yeah, they feel like you're not getting the signals. Yes. This person feels like you're not getting the signals that they're putting out here. Yeah. <laughs> in the world. The Eight of Cups. Yes, this person definitely feels like you're not focused on them or someone isn't focused on them and walking away. This person feels like they have to compete with the world for your attention at this point because someone is getting so much attention. They're, they're, they're so successful. They're so busy winning. They're in their power now. And someone is frustrated. Give me one for Lockbox for this. The Three of Cups. See, somebody is feeling removed. They're feeling unable to reconcile, to celebrate Two of Pentacles. This person is thinking about what they can do here. They're wearing some thing, weighing some things out. There's that Empress. Strength definitely could be dealing with the Leo. But this, listen, this is the Queen rising. This is that same Queen that's prayed, that's that's uh, stepping into power, praised, coming up in the spotlight, in control here for sure. Yeah, and then here's this Knight of Wands under there. Somebody who wants to rush in, who's obsessed, who have, who got to have it. Give me one for the Eight of Pentacles here. Give me one for the Eight of Pentacles here for my soul tribe. Again, guys, don't, don't hesitate to throw the like on it. it it's, it's free. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, uh, the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So the, here's this Queen of Pentacles, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Someone who's very solid, very stable, very abundant, right? Someone who's able to manifest and take care of her family, right? To grow a business, to grow a home, a home like the, the Queen of Pentacles is definitely a woman who knows her work. And there's some sort of communication coming in to her about wanting to work together from someone with the lovers. It could be a Gemini, but this is someone who feels like they have this deep connection. They've been sitting back thinking about this queen and stressing about this union and this partnership. Give me one for this six of swords for my soul tribe. Either this person wants to come towards you or they want to move to Kama Waters. They could definitely be at a distance. Here he is, King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Four of Pentacles. See, I feel like it feels like what ha what's happening here with the Four of Pentacles here. This is definitely someone who is stubborn. Again, this could be someone who is very stubborn, but I feel like this is somebody who tried to hold back. Let me see what some of this works. There he is, King of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, a man. Seven of Wands. Very defensive energy. I feel like this person was very stubborn and, and, and very stubborn at some point. They wanted to hold back. They were very defensive about some things. Now they're sitting back watching this queen rise. And it's coming up as the star in the nine of pentacles. Aquarius energy, the empress, right? The star. I told you, someone is literally here like a big deal. Hot shit, right? This could be someone that someone adores, right? They get a lot of attention, adoration, right? This person wants to come towards her. Give me one for the four of cups. And for my soul tribe. 
the hangman, Pisces could be involved. Someone is feeling like they're stuck. They can't do anything but wait, the nine of wands. Yes, this person can't do anything but wait here. And it's driving them crazy. They're feeling stuck. They're bored and discontent. They feel like they can't do anything but wait. It's hurting their feelings because here's the six of cups, right? Childhood, either children is involved, someone you've known since childhood, or they have some very fond memories. They want to have youthful and good times with someone. Yeah. They could definitely be looking at someone here, working on their stability, building, building, um, building and growing their finances. Like someone is like they, they have some sort of stability here with the three of Pentacles and the knight of Pentacles. And I feel like this person is watching this person with the king of swords. Yeah, he is. He's watching this and he's in his feelings and there's getting ready to be some sort of communication. He could definitely feel like someone is dusted him off and walked away and this has got this person in his feelings this is someone who can't do anything but wait for you to for someone to have time here for them and it's frustrating the hell out of them because it feels like they gotta have it i love you my soul tribe if i got it right for you make sure you like comment subscribe and share if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading please email me that information is in my description box below along with the link to my etsy shop i do offer ten dollar personalized messages Guys, I appreciate all your support. Continue to take care of yourselves. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, and stay positive. Bye, my beautiful soul tribe.